In this video, we're going to be talking about new DRAMless NVMe SSD from Samsung and everything you need to know before you buy it. So stay tuned! What's up everyone, my name is Andre and today we're going to be talking about great products from Samsung, new DRAMless NVMe SSD 980. This is Gen 3 NVMe SSD based on 3-bit TLC flash memory, which means a lot of speed and durability. Currently, three sizes of 970 is available, 250, 500 and 1 terabyte and total capacity of write cycles accordingly 150 terabytes, 300 terabytes and 600 terabytes. And of course with pretty usual 5 years limited warranty. As you might notice, this NVMe SSD is a special candy in the jar, because it's been announced as DRAMless, which is pretty accurate as of Samsung has removed the DRAM chip from its PCB. But why would they do that, right? The answer is pretty simple. The fewer parts on PCB, the cheaper manufacturing and better price for all of us, right? But where's the catch? Let's find out. Instead of using its own DRAM chip, the 980 is using what it's called HMB memory or host memory buffer. Instead of CPU talking directly and only to the SSD, it will go around this time with a longer road. CPU will first access your DRAM to retrieve mapping tables of those 64 megabytes, and only then it will go back to CPU and access data from SSD. Neat, isn't it? Also good news that the performance to the price ratio is really nice. According to Samsung technical specification, maximum speeds would be 2.9 gigs for read and 1.3 gigs for write for 250 gigabyte version, 3.1 gigs per second for read and 2.6 gigs per second for write for 500 version, and 3.5 gigs per second for read and 3 gigs per second for write for 1 terabyte version. That is super nice. And of course, I have it tested for you. But before, please give this video a like and put some comments what you think about new NVMe SSD. And now to the tests. I've used Crystal Diskmark to test SSD with three test sizes, 16 megabytes, 1 gigs and 8 gigs, which should show the overall picture of how this beast is behaving on all the ranges of the performance. With those results, new DRAMless NVMe SSD competes with Samsung 970 Pro and Corsair MP510 SSDs in read speeds. And it even overruns the 970 Pro in write speeds and stands near to Corsair MP400 and MP10, which is pretty impressive. So with all of this power and all of this performance, what about the heat production and dissipation. To ensure it stays nice and cool, Samsung is using a nickel-based plate on the controller and the heat spreader label on the back plate of its PCB to dissipate the heat from the memory banks and the PCB itself. Also, since there are fewer parts on PCB, the overall temps of the whole chip and the SSD should be lower as well. So what's the verdict? Cheaper price? Better SSDs, everything in together, sandwiches, awesome, unbelievable, let's go. It is an awesome piece of hardware that will complement your PC or laptop, giving you a high-end performance with a reasonable price. That's it for today, let me know what you think about new NVMe SSD from Samsung in the comment section down below. Also smash that like button and subscribe button for me and we'll see each other in our next videos. Ciao.